نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم that becomes the means and the reason in the day of Qiyamah for the deliverance from the fire jahannam and that Allah accepts our words, our majlis, our masajid, our gathering and makes this a reason for our eternal bliss in Jannah. For me to sit here and to preach you I feel personally I'm not capable to preach you. But due to the tawfiq of Allah has given me to say some words and I'm only saying what Allah has inspired. There is two categories of people living in this world. There's one category where they should call nafsi imam. And the second category people is called kamil imam. The nafsi iman, the people of nafsi iman is those people who recognize Islam, who doesn't deny it, who accepts it. And even he believes in Islam and he confesses and believes in the kalima, but he does not practice his deen. This is called nafsi iman. And I will say in this world there is nearly 85% of nafsi iman. People who are accepting, who believe, but do not practice on deen. <coughs> who are not practicing on deen in Islam. And the Kamil Iman is that person who believes, who confess, who recognizes the deen in Islam, and he practices upon deen. And when he practices upon deen, he feels the enjoyment of Islam. He sees reality. He sees reality. He sees the world as sitting, as a jail. And he sees the world as a jail and wajannatun. And he sees this world as a paradise for the non believers. Brothers, Allah Ta'ala says, La yahurmannaka taqallubu al-ladheena kafaru fi al Do not become do not become misled. Do not become deceived. For those people who is living in this world, who Allah has gave him so much luxury of this world, don't become deceived. If you become deceived, straight away make istighfar. Make istighfar. We always regret, there's too many regrets, we always look at other people. What he has, we do not look at ourselves what we have. So do not become deceived. Because this world, this life, brothers, is too short. So I have read a Quranic ayat. And in this Quranic ayat, I was talking on the subject of Quran. <coughs> One poetry. One poet he says, "Wala tamulu sima min halawatihi wala zatihi, wala tashbaa al ulama min tadaburihi wa tafakuhi, wala yastati al insu wal jinn ayyatu bi bi aqsar surat min al Quran, fa innahu mu'jiza tul khalid." He is giving the example. He was giving the example of the Quran which today is in my homes and your homes today. It is in our masajids. But in the reality, Quran is in the books, it's not in the heart of the people. So what is the main cause? Who are the people who get guidance from this Quran? Who has taqwa? Who has fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So the poet, he says, وَلَا تَمْنُلُ السِّمَا That by listening to the Qur'an and listening his taste and his quench for the thirst of this Qur'an it doesn't get fulfilled. 
He just loves listening to the Quran. He just loves listening. But who? لِمَنْ كَانَ لَهُ قَلْبٌ أَوْ أَلْقَ السَّمْعَ وَهُوَ الشَّيْءٌ For those people who has a heart, if you don't have a heart, believe me, you will not like listening to Quran. <coughs> because your heart is dead. Your heart is dead. It is a dead heart. Your heart is deceived. Your heart is rusted. That's why after listening to the Quran, the effect is not affecting you. It's not affecting me anymore. A lot of people, they say, there's so many issues in, Quran, in, in this world. There's so many issues in this world. Why do we just have to just read a tasbih? Why do we have to just read Allah, Allah, Dhikrullah? The Ulamas, they give an example, they say that our body, our body is like a house. And in this house, the more you beautify this house, the more beautiful it looks. You start beautifying this house with different, different things. And when it becomes more beautiful, then the house becomes more expensive. So he say, our body is like a house, but inside there we have a heart. And when we beautify with a'mal, with good deeds, then your martaba, your status in the eyes of Allah becomes expensive. Your status in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala becomes expensive. And then what happens? What happens? Then Allah says that when my this servant becomes so accepted in my eyes, then I start loving him. And I make announcements on the skies. And the angels make announcements on the earth. Then every human living creation starts loving this person. And we have seen our great great ulamas who are truthful in their worldly life, in their public life, and in their private life, who are truthful in their deed and action. Who are truthful in their deed and action. <coughs> These people, they leave, they leave their legacy, they leave their asr behind them. The effect stays behind. Because everyone starts loving this person, automatically. Because this person is acceptance in the eyes of Allah. So when he becomes acceptance, the main reason for me saying this brothers, today I bet you every single one of us sitting here, we are thinking behind our subcontinent of our mind, I'm a Muslim, I read Kalima, and I'm gonna die as a Muslim. Wallahi brothers, I'm telling you, thousands, thousands of Muslims are, be, are to be born in a Muslim house, this is guaranteed. But there are millions of people dying without Iman. 